Reinvention is the condition and consequences of our lives and our lives in these times. What I mean by that is that reinvention has now actually moved centre stage into public political life. When I first wrote this book in 2012, my principal focus was to really look at the whole phenomenon of the increasing cultural obsession and discourse around reinvention. People were busy you know, reinventing their cars and their wardrobes and their sex lives and it just became something that was more and more seemingly impossible. You know, you'd come home of an evening and real, reality TV had most of this now running wall to wall. So I thought that was a really interesting development and wondered from a sociological angle why was that happening. So initially the book Reinvention was actually a very little book and it was basically looking at developments in popular culture all the way from you know the rise and rise of dieting through to cosmetic surgery through to therapy culture. Um, a lot has happened and part of my argument in this new second edition of reinvention is that we're seeing reinvention sort of now being taken up a gear. It's like it's been raised to the nth degree and what I mean by that is in terms of the structural conditions of modern societies, reinvention has become increasingly embedded and re-embedded into the very fabric of the ways in which societies, economies and polities operate. I think you can see this um, in lots of various diverse domains. So it's not just in popular culture, but increasingly it's in public political life. So, for instance, you know, the whole rise of Trumpism, um, of Brexit, of um, you know, resurging uh, political popularism throughout Europe. Um, these are all trajectories that um, I think the arguments are really a shift beyond left and right into a, uh, a new kind of landscape. Even with the election of the new president in the United States, while some commentators argue that this is you know, a sort of return to business as normal, I think through the vantage point of the reinvention paradigm that I'm developing in this particular book, I'm arguing no, it's not as simple to just go back to business as usual because what we've actually had is a dismantling of traditional political institutions as we have known them. That's been an agenda, it's part of the reinvention agenda of these early decades of the 21st century. And I would argue it's really new. It's quite different to anything, say, that our parents or certainly our parents' parents ever saw when politics was conducted in a much more left versus right, you know, traditional format. So, uh, yeah, a lot has happened uh, in the time since I wrote the first book and I'm absolutely thrilled to have this opportunity with Routledge to um, see the book now into the second edition.